Hello again, welcome to today's attempt at the Exordal puzzle, where I'm trying to guess two words at once. So if I put in my first guess, that yellow A means that at least one of the two words has got an A in it, but it's not third. So they might both have an A, or just one of them, but either way it's definitely not third. And the CH, O and S are definitely not in either word. So it will auto-populate a guess at the top. So that will give me some more information. It'll go one letter at a time after each of my guesses. And usually the answers are actually themed around that word as well. So we'll get lots more clues as we move on. So I'm just going to go for five new letters to get myself some more information. And that's worked a lot better. U, D, E and R are all in the words. So we've got six different letters so far, all of which have to be in the two words. We can use a maximum of 10 different letters, of course, but there might be duplicates. That W being second is very suspicious, especially if it's not an A before it. So I wonder if it's something like award. I might take a risk and go for award next. No, it can't be award because the A cannot be third. I just told you that. So what can it be? Um, can't even be aware or anything like that. Could just be a T, I suppose, in front of the W. Twine, except we can't use the N. I think I'm just going to go for five new letters, if I can think of a word that uses five new letters. I want to try nifty, but we can't use the N. Can anything else go with the other letters? Hmm. I can't think of anything that uses... I want to use I, T and Y and then two of the other letters that I haven't used. But I'm not quite sure I can think of something. Let's try Milky instead. That uses five different letters. Not the T though. Okay, so we're up to eight different letters that we can use. Or that we have to use rather. I mean, it could be something like dwell. I'm trying to also think what that answer at the top might be. Sword, I suppose? What two words could I think of that are connected with swords? I mean, also, it's not going to be dwell, is it? Because then we would have to use a, u, and i, and r in the other word. So I probably want to use, there's probably quite a lot of vowels in one of the words. But the trouble is, I just don't know quite what they are at this stage. Um, let's try choir. Let's just try the Q, which obviously is very unlikely to help, but it tries new positions for all the other letters. There we go. So I think maybe it is going to be sword. So what words can I think of that are connected with swords? Um, I still can't work out what can go before that W. It really looks like it's going to be twine, especially with the I and the E being those positions, but you can't use the N. So, that doesn't really help us. We've got one, two, three, four, five, we've still got those eight different letters. Can't be guilt now either, which would have been probably a better guess to check the G and the T last time. But obviously that ship has now sailed, so it's not guide either. The U is probably third, I suppose it could be a U-D-E ending. Um, I don't think a wire is a word. A while is obviously not quite spelt correctly. We need an H. So it's a six letter word, so it's not a possible answer is what I mean. Oh, this should be easier than I'm making it look. What do I want to try? I suppose it could be blank AI, blank E naive, something like that, but obviously still not allowed to use the N. Um, let's just try plat. 
Oh no, Vic A cannot be third. I think trying for PL of a star is probably sensible. Or maybe PR. Let's just try prude. Because it tries a new position for the U and it tries a new position for the R and the D. Right, so sworn rather than sword. That changes everything, possibly. We still haven't got the U in the right place. It's not going to end with the U, is it? So the U is going to be fourth. It's probably a U-E ending, which means that the I and the E are not in the same word. So if it's a U-E ending, I suppose it doesn't have to be. It could be fruit. No, it can't be fruit. That's U-I. <laughs> the U can't be third. We just said that. I've got one more guess that I can afford to waste, but then I need to get it right on the last two, because I've got two words to guess still. Ah, I mean, it could just be something as simple as drive, but what's that got to do with sworn? Maybe it's not a themed one today. But I still don't know what that W might be. Cannot be aware. I just really struggling to work out what can come before a W. Because we can't have the A in third either. So there's an E or an I probably after it. Twill? Is that a word? Oh, that's given us. That was a very stupid guess, really. We've ruled out the T, but it, we've learned absolutely nothing. So the L is the other last letter. So it could be a UL ending, I suppose. So it's UE or UL. It's not a... Oh, it could have been 12. That would have been a... Well, it wouldn't have been a more sensible guess, because we knew that the R couldn't be third. But at least it would have been something else. A Y... A, what is this word? A wide? A wife? A wise? I just... I don't know. So one of the words has to start with a D. We've learned that because the A, E and the L are the two last letters. The R and the W are the two second letters. And the D is in third or fourth. So one word starts with a D. Can it really be DW? It can't be dwarf or dwell. So if it's not DW, then of course it's DR. Could just be something as simple as drive. But then we would have to use a. Oh, it would be awful! That was a terrible performance. That was very awful that I couldn't think of awful any earlier. So, definitely not my best. I'm still not quite sure I understand how awful drive is connected to sworn anyway. But even allowing for that, that was an awful performance, I think. Definitely not my best, but we didn't fail. That's important. That's the Exordal. Let me know if you did better, and let me know if you want to see this more often. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.